day of yoga yeah same to you thank you so i'm still playing around with angles in this space that i live in trying to find Best camera angles and such. Try a new one today. We'll see how it works. That's going to do it. Oh, 
Good afternoon, Raj. Glad you're here, brother. Oh, Sam, this is not for you, buddy. You get your toy in there and play with it. Just don't know for sure how that is. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. C'est pas une chute. C'est une belle chute. You all hear that music? Okay. Probably the lowest level of the All right. Okay. Still trying to figure out all the technology stuff. Get boogie in here. All right, we got a nice room started. Hey, uh, if you would please turn on your camera, that uh, kind of helps me to. Hey, Barbara, I thought that might be you. Cool. All right, now that I can see everybody, audio okay? You can hear my voice? Yep. All right. What about music? Is the music level, can you hear that well? Yeah. All right. As you know, these beats are going to be an important part of our flow today. This is, uh, you know, this is going to be more like uh like a dance, self-expression. I'm gonna, you know, as always, I offer suggestions, I cue things, and that's all they are, are suggestions. You know, you might have, uh, you might have just got finished with a chest workout at Gold's Gym, and I'm asking you to do plank, or maybe you just had wrist surgery, and I'm saying, hey, uh, side plank, fasciastasana, 
So I really don't know what's going on with you. I don't know your backstory, your genetics, your current state. So understand everything that I cue, the, the moves, the transitions, the positions, their suggestions, just a little guidance. You know, ultimately, you make the choice on how deep you go with that position. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we're in a utira hasta padding gustasana, but holding a foot out isn't appropriate. Maybe holding a knee is. Make that choice. Use your uh, your cognition and your sensation to make a, make a decision on how far to go. When I bring the tempo up, one breath, one move, I encourage you to run with that. But you know what? Again, that may not that may not play to you. That might not be your thing. So adjust. Maybe you want to take two breaths, three breaths in a move. It's okay. And as always, child's pose, it is there whenever you want it. You don't have to wait for Steve and David to do it. If you need to drop into child's pose, do it. Get right, get centered, and jump right on back in. Uh, there'll be a few moments here and there where uh, – I turn the practice over to you for you to move as you see fit. Again, I'll have guided you through a few sequences and then you can take them and go with them. And I encourage you to add to it, subtract from it, enhance it. You know, again, this is a dance. Feel the music, feel the sensation, feel the breath. And, and uh, I don't know, if you're like me, you might have some stuff on you that just needs to come off. And this is our, our golden opportunity to let it off. So uh, let's let's get started. You know what? Let's start up on our feet in the standing position. I'm going to mute everybody out. But you will have the ability to unmute yourself if necessary. So if you need me, Unmute yourself and holler at me or send a message if I'm not responding to your message. Um, I did put a, a donation PayPal link in chat. If you so feel moved to drop a dollar or two in the basket, that's cool. We're going to get going here. So come on to the top of your mat. I'm standing. Just tune into your feet. You got big toes. Pick them up. Push into that knuckle, that pad of the foot where your big toe connects, and now press your big toe down into the mat. Pick up your pinky toes, and same thing, that pad where your pinky toe connects. Press it in and set it down. Mm. And then just the, the point of your heel bone, just let it sink in. But we're not pushing or anything right now. We're just kind of mm, grounding. Yeah. Well, just work your way up your legs because mm, your knees, they're going to be over your ankles and your hips are over your knees. Maybe, maybe tuck the tailbone a little bit to just bring the root towards your, your mat, planet. Mm -hmm. Shoulders coming up over your hips. Just let your shoulder blades glide into your back pockets. Right. Now just put your palms together at your heart. And if you need to, roll your shoulders back one more time. Let your heart beat open. Now the line of your jaw, it's kind of parallel to the planet. Eyes are closed. Lips together, but teeth not touching. Jaw is soft. Just a few natural breaths. First and foremost, this is a breathing practice. So when your mind wanders and your body fidgets and things are funky, just Come back to the breath. It's always there for you. We're going to get right into some ujjayi pranayama. Mm, take the tip of your tongue. Just place it on that little bump right behind your upper front teeth. Slight pressure creates a little bit of restriction in your throat. 
So you can hear your breath. Yeah. That restriction warms your air, heating your body from the inside out. Use your belly muscles to bring air in, maybe on a two count or a four count. And then use your belly muscles to just adios the air out of your body. Same thing, two count, four count. Bring air in, move air out with intention. Begin to develop that power that will fuel you. As you fill up your air, start in the belly. Come to the sides of the ribs, all the way to your collarbones. Big tank of gas. Mm, and then exhale. All oh, out. Mm. Take a breath in. Exhale. Extend your arms down, palms forward. Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms up high, grab your elbows overhead. Exhale, bend your body to the right. Just pull your left elbow up and over. The inhale brings you center. Exhale, bends you to the left. Pull your left elbow up and over. Inhale, come center, maybe a little back bend if it's appropriate. Exhale, let's forward fold here. Bring your chest to your thighs. Let your head hang soft, hands hang low. Bend one knee and the other, like walking the dog, but in Uttanasana. Place your right palm on the mat. If you need to bend your knees, it's cool. Palm right between your big toes. Inhale. Slight bend to your right knee, bring your left hand to the ceiling for a twist. While you're here, exhale. Staying here, inhale, pull your breastbone away from your pelvis. Now breathe out, then. bring your left hand, replace your right hand with your left, bend your left knee a little, straighten your right, inhale, right hand goes up for a twist. While you're here, exhale. Breathe in, pull your breastbone away from your pelvis. Exhale, lower both hands down, straighten your legs to a personal degree. Inhale, hands low, glance forward, long back. Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, fold forward, yeah. Inhale, we're gonna stand up tall, reach on up, grab your elbow. Exhale, take a bend to the right. Mm. Inhale, come up center. Exhale, take a bend to the left. Inhale and center, maybe a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Right hand stays down, bend your right knee. Inhale, twist your left hand high. Exhale, place the right hand with the left hand. Bend your left knee and inhale your right hand for a twist to the sky. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, glance forward, half lift. Exhale, chest to thighs. Inhale, rise. Grab your elbows. Breathe out, bend right. Breathe in through the center and breathe out, bend and left. Inhale to the center, back bend if you please. Breathe out to bring your chest towards your knee. Right hand down, twist your left hand as you inhale. Exhale and switch it on an inhale. We twist our right hand up. Breathing out, both hands stay low. Breathe it in, eyes forward, spine long. Exhale, let the nipples kiss the thighs. Inhale, stand, reach up high, grab your elbows, take a side bend on an exhale. Inhale to the center, follow it to the left on an exhale. Inhale, come center, get a back bend if you wish. 
Exhale, fold it forward. Right hand stays low, right knee bend a little, and inhale, twist the left hand up. Exhale, left hand down, and breathe in, twist to the other side. Exhale, right hand comes down, breathe into a half lift. Breathe out, Uttanasana. Follow this, inhale, rise. You know what to do, grab your elbows. Your next few breaths will take side bends. We go right, inhale, center. We bend left, exhale. Get a forward fold. And then you take your twists. After your twists, you get a half lift. Fold again. And then just follow that. Your pace, your tempo. Take it through a few times. If you want to add something to it, go for it. Start to see how your inhales lift you and lengthen you. Your exhales while they bend you. Your inhales lifting. Exhales grounding. Finding space. Breathing into it. Give yourself that permission to just arrive and breathe, move, and sweat a little. Good. Wherever you're at in your flow, we'll just finish up in a forward fold, Uttanasana. Chest to thighs. Just get a couple breaths here. Mm. Inhale, take a look forward with your hands low, and as you exhale, step or hop back to a plank, upper push-up position, we call it plank. Push into your palms here. You know, if you need to lower your knees, that's cool. You can do that, or keep them up. It's up to you. Take another breath in. Exhale, let's go all the way down. Let your biceps brush your ribs as you bend your elbows. Chest touches the ground, chin touches the ground. Release the tops of your feet. Breathe in. Straighten your arms without lifting your thighs. If it's a back bend called cobra. Mm, exhale, come on down and just curl your toes under. Knees up or knees down. Push the plank and follow your exhale into down dog. What goes up, head goes down. Mm. That's a vinyasa, y'all. Plank, cobra, down dog. You hear me say vinyasa? That's all that is. Maybe pedal your dog a couple times here. And let's continue. Inhale, glance forward. Breathing out, you can step or hop your feet to your hands in a forward fold. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, looking forward. Breathe out, fold forward again. Inhale, stand, rise, reach high. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Breathe out and bend to the right. Pull your left wrist over, push into your left foot. Yeah. Inhale, center, switch your grip. Exhale, bending left. Pull your right wrist, push into your right foot. Maybe look up if you like, wow, it feels good. Inhale, come center again. Back bend if you want to. Exhale, take a forward fold. Going through sun A. Inhale, glancing forward for length. Exhale, press into your palms. Beat back the plank. Lower. You can lower halfway the chaturanga or all the way down your choice. Inhale for cobra or up dog. It's a nice, sweet back bend. 
Exhale, touch the chin and push the plank into down dog. Breathe deep. Mm, catch a couple breaths here. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna smooth this out. Like one breath, one move. On an inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet the hands forward fold. Inhale, glance forward, spine long. Exhale, chest to thigh. Inhale, stand, rise, grab your left ribs. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale to the center, switch your grip. Exhale, bending left. Mm. Inhale, center, maybe back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, glance forward. Exhale down to the plank and catch your vinyasa. Breathe into the back bend. Breathe out to the down dog. You got it from down dog. Couple breaths, couple breaths. Mm. Recentering. How about that Udayana Banda? Squeeze toilet muscles. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chest to thighs. Follow this breath as you rise, reach high. Next few breaths, take your side bends. Coming back to center, forward fold. An inhale gets you a half lift. Exhale and vinyasa. You got this. Basic sun A with side bends. It's yours. Take it. Flow, baby. Flow.
flow you're in right now, wherever you're at. You get at the end of this flow, we'll just finish in standing position, hands of heart, sign of feet. Make your way through your flow and meet up there, top of your mat. If you're already there at that center speak to heat, just check in the breath. Scan your body. Mm -hmm. Re-engage bandhas, you know. Uyana banda, it's kind of like pulling your sit bones together without clenching your glutes. Just breathe, a couple breaths here. Mm. Same thing, we're just gonna add a little bit to it, just a couple extra movements. Keeping this flow going. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Mm. On an inhale. Bend your knees. Sitting down. Reach your arms high. Bicep to ears. Tuck your tailbone. Hollow your core. They call it chair. Bhutkatasana. Fierce pose. Take a breath and look up. Exhale. Place your palms together at your heart. Twist your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Squat a little deeper. Inhale, come back to chair. Mm. Now let's just breathe out and make prayer hands. Right elbow across, left thigh. We'll twist. Inhale to chair. Exhale, fold your body forward as you straighten your legs. Chest to thighs. Yeah. Inhale, look forward. Breathe out. Push into your palms. Catch a vinyasa. You can go cobra or up dog, chaturanga or flat, your choice. When you exhale into down dog, finish that exhale, press your right foot between your hands, ground your left heel, foot flat. Inhale, come up, shoulders over hips, reach high. Warrior one, virabhadrasana. Exhale, come on down, hands to the mat, catch another vinyasa. Exhaling in the down dog. Finish your exhale with your left foot between your hands. Ground your right heel. Breathe in. Come on up, warrior. Mm, exhale, hands to the mat. Flow through that vinyasa again. Mm. Every time that cobra or the up dog gets a little sweeter. When you get the down dog, take two breaths, three breaths, walk your dog a little, centering, getting right. Mm. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet to hands. Inhale, bend your knees, sit, reach high, chair pose. Exhale, take a twist, left elbow over right leg. Inhale, center the chair. Exhale, we're gonna twist left this time, yeah. Breathe in the chair again. Breathe out and take a fold, woo! Inhale, glance forward. Exhale, catch that vinyasa. Mm. Breathe into the back bend. Breathe out to the down dog. Step your right foot. Left heel grounding. Inhale up the warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Flow through. Hmm. Exhaling into down dog, we step with our left, ground our right foot. Breathe into warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Flow through again. Find your way to that down dog, catch three breaths, recenter. Now we're just going to smooth it out and make it into a dance. Breathe in and glance. 
Breathe out and hop. Inhale to chair. Exhale, twist right. Inhale to chair. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to chair again. Exhale, fold your body. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, catch that flow, vinyasa. Remember, we step our right foot first. Rise in the warrior on an inhale. Breathe out, catch that vinyasa. And step in the left foot. An inhale brings us up to warrior. Breathe out and float. Whoa. My biggest limitation as yoga teacher is uh, I don't know how to tell you. I wish you could see yourselves through my eyes. You're moving strong. Take a few breaths. Over your next few breaths, you glance, you hop, forward, fold. The forward fold leads to an inhaling chair. Breathe out into a twist. Breathe in the chair. Exhale, twist us the other way. And then you get one more timing chair. Fold your body forward on an exhale. Half lift, breathing in. Exhale into a vinyasa. Down dog, we step the right foot the first time. Rise the warrior, strong. Woo. Catch another vinyasa, exhale down to the planet. Feel it, let, them, let, it, let that end, the sensation move you. Step your left foot, ground your right and rise. Let the air out and catch another vinyasa flowing through. When you get to down dog, just take a couple breaths, recenter. You know this sequence. It's all you, baby. Roll with it. It's yours. the flow you're in and meet in child's pose. If you're already at your child's pose, you know, maybe a little stretch to the shoulders, thread the needle if you please, twisted child's pose. Hey, what happens in child's pose when you run your arms down between your thighs? Grab the heels, maybe pulling shoulder blades apart. Just get a couple breaths, recenter. Now that uh, we're part way through this warm up, we can kind of turn things up a little. Mm. Okay. Step by step, inch by inch. From child's pose, tuck your toes under. If your arms aren't out forward, let them put them forward. Push into your palms. Straighten your legs, lifting your knees, lifting your butt into down or facing dog. Adho Mukha. Now, 
strong into your left foot. Inhale, raise your right leg up behind you. On an exhale, bend your right knee, open your right hip over your left. Scorpion dog. You can stay here, or if you wish, follow that exhale and flip your dog. Bring your right foot to the mat, reach your right hand long into wild thing. Inhale, sweep your right leg back up to three-legged dog. Exhale, crunch your right knee to your elbow, your right elbow, or keep your right leg lifted and lower to chaturanga, one leg chaturanga. You got choices. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Ground your left heel. Inhale, come up. Straighten both legs, right leg, left leg, like triangle. Place your left hand on your outer left thigh. Reach your right hand way up to the sky. This is a reverse triangle. Exhale, bring your right hand way out and down to your right shin, ankle, or foot. Left hand to the sky, trikonasana, triangle. On an inhale, close your chest and hips. Lift off with your left leg, arms back, a modified warrior three. If you wish, you can have arms forward. Exhale, put your hands on the mat, hop your feet back to plank and vinyasa. Ooh, just step by step, slow the first few times around. We're building, we're building. Now from down dog, pushing into your right foot. Inhale your left leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your left knee, open your left hip over the right, scorpion dog, or flip it all the way in the wild thing. Your choice. Inhale, left leg back up the three-legged dog. Exhale, come to plank, crunch your left knee to your left elbow, or keep your left leg up, bend your elbows, one leg chaturanga. Inhale, up to three-legged dog. Exhale, big step with your left foot between your hands. Ground your right heel. Inhale, both legs are straight. We stand up, right palm on outer right thigh, left hand to the sky, reverse triangle. Exhale, reach your left hand way out over your left leg. Drop it on shin, ankle, or left foot. Right hand up high, trikonasana. Close your chest and hips. Inhale, lift your right leg off. We're balancing on our left leg. Modified warrior three, or arms forward for warrior three. Exhale, hands to the mat, hop back to plank. Get your vinyasa. Mm. We're building this in three chunks, y'all. That was the first one. Adding on here. From down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg, three legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, scorp dog or wild thing. Inhale, back up, three legged dog. Exhale, crunch, or one leg chaturanga. Inhale, right leg up high. Breathe out, step your right foot, ground your left. Inhale, come up, left hand, left thigh, right hand high, reverse triangle. Breathe out the trikonasana. Mm. We close our chest and hips and inhale, lift up the warrior, warrior three. Now on this exhale, step your left foot way back, rotate your chest to the left wall, point your toes away from each other, bend your knees, bend your elbows, goddess. We're facing the left side of the room. On an inhale, rotate your body towards the back of the room. Now your left leg is in front of you, Right hand to the mat by your left foot. 
Inhale your left hand up, twist and lunge, dragonfly. We're oriented to the back of the room now. On your exhale, lower your left hand outside of your left foot, lower your right knee, straighten your left leg, half split. Big move here, inhale, standing up on our left leg. Bring your right knee out front, you can hold it, or hold your big toe of your right foot, leg extended. Uttira hasta taringusvasan. Exhale, set your right foot on your left thigh, squat down, prayer hands at your heart, figure four. Release your right leg. Inhale, put your hands on the mat, lift your right leg behind you. This is a standing split. You have an option for a handstand here if you choose. Now from here, exhale, hop your feet back to plank and vinyasa. When you come up to cobra, notice you're looking at the back of the room. Exhale to your down dog. Now, when we're facing the back of the room, that means we work left side. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, scorp dog or wild thing. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, take a crunch or a single leg chaturanga. Inhale, take your left leg back up. Anybody sweating? Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Ground your right foot. Come on up. Right hand on right thigh, left hand to the sky, reverse triangle. Breathe out. Take your left hand out and down to your left leg. Right hand high, trikonasana. Close your chest and hips. Breathe in. Lift your right leg up. Warrior three. Now breathing out. Set your right foot way back. Rotate your chest again, the same side of the room, all 10 toes pointing away from each other. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, sit in the goddess. Now we're going to the front of the mat. Inhale, rotate towards the front of the room. Left hand comes down by your right foot inside of it. Rotate your right hand up, twisted lunge, dragonfly. Exhale, lower your right hand, lower your left knee, straighten your right leg, half split. Woo! Big move, breathe in, stand up on your right leg, kick your left one out front, hold your knee or your big toe, your choice. Breathe out and set the left foot on your right thigh, prayer hands at the heart, Sit down into this figure four. Inhale, release your left foot. Put your hands on the mat. Left leg up behind you. This is standing split. <laughs> if you want, handstand. Exhale, hop your feet back to plank and catch a vinyasa. Woo! But wait, there's more. Come down, dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee. Flip your dog if you want. Breathe into a three-legged dog. Breathe out for a crunch or a chaturanga. Inhale, again, three-legged dog. Breathe out, big step with your right foot. Ground your left. Inhale, come up to your reverse triangle. Remember, left hand, left eye, right hand on the ceiling. Breathe out, bring your right hand down to your right leg. Left hand up high, trikonasana. Closing the chest, inhale, take flight, lift off into warrior three. Breathe out, we step down the left foot, rotate left, lower to goddess. Woo! Rotate to the back of the room, right hand down inside a left foot, left hand up on the ceiling, twisted lunge. Breathe out, left hand down, right knee down, left leg straight, half split. 
Inhale, stand up strong. Take your left knee or your left big toe. Breathe out. Figure four, left foot on right, right foot on left leg. Breathe in, standing split, right leg up high. Breathe out, keep your hands on the mat. Lower your right foot flat, like in a warrior lunge, but your left leg is straight. This is pyramid. Bring your heart to your left thigh. Now push strong into your right hand. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Now you can step your left foot back and just open to side plank, or you can grab your left big toe and go to side plank with the toe bind. That's an inhale there. Exhale, come to plank and get a vinyasa. Man, that was nuts. Who thinks of this craziness? All right, we're at the back of the mat. That means left leg, inhale, take it up. Exhale, bend your left knee, flip your dog if you want. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, get a crunch or a shot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, big step. Breathe in, come up to your reverse triangle, right hand down, left hand up. Breathe out and switch arms. We go into triple nasal. Breathe in, take flight, warrior three. Exhale, make the turn to the side of the mat, squat into goddess. Breathe in, bringing your left hand down, right hand up, front of the mat, twisted lunge. Breathe out, lower into a half split, right leg long. Inhale, stand up strong. Take the left leg out front. Uttira hasta. Exhale, squatting into your figure four. Mm. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, lower your left foot flat for pyramid. Ooh. Now, same thing here. Push into your left hand. Roll to the outside of your left foot. Inhale, side plank with your right side up, left side down. Breathe out to plank and follow that exhale into your vinyasa. Woo, get the down dog, take three breaths. That is our flow, y'all, that's what we're rolling with. Get centered, get right in your down dog. Whoa. Now follow the cues from down dog. Best you can, follow along. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, flip the dog. Inhale, rise up, three-legged dog. Exhale, crunch or chaturanga. Inhale, sweep your leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, trikonasana. An inhale, lift off, fly, warrior three. And exhale to goddess facing the left side of the room. Get that squat. Heck yes. Inhale, lower your right hand to the mat. Open that dragonfly twist. Exhale, catch your half split. Inhale, stand strong. Kick your right leg out front like you own it. Exhale, catch that figure four squat. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to pyramid. Big move, breathe in. Vashi Sasana, side plank. Woo! Breathe out. Vinyasa. You got this. You got this. This is the left side. From down dog over your next few breaths, you'll catch a three-legged dog, scorp dog or wild thing. Back to three-legged dog. You'll catch a crunch or a single leg chop. Three-legged dog leads us to a big step. 
Breathe in for a reverse triangle. Breathe out for a triangle, trickle nasa. Inhale, take flight, lift off. You got it. Exhale, goddess squat. Breathe in, dragonfly to the front of the room. You got it, beautiful. Breathe out, stretch your long leg with the half split. Now get strong, inhale, rise. Mutira hasta, pare gustasana. Exhale, set it on down for your figure four. Inhale into standing split. Exhale into pyramid. Breathe in, catch your side plank. They call it Vashi Slasana. Grab that toe. This is crazy. Exhale, Vinyasa. You got this. It's yours. Add what you want, take what you want. Let this beat move through you. Show me dance party. Finish the flow you're in and meet in a child's pose. Now, if you're feeling that heat, you just go ahead and say, woo hoo 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 It's so hot in this camper, even Sam, my dog, is sweating. Mmm. Get a couple breaths here, y'all. Get recentered. Oh. 
All right, when you're ready, come to a table position. That's sweat in my eye, Steve. You're kicking my butt. Hey, me too. I got no hair to catch the sweat. All right, we're in table. Now, I would be uh I would be shortchanging y'all if I didn't share some of this this sweetness with you here. Who likes upper body strength? We all do. Go ahead and push into your right hand. Take your right leg straight back. Heel up, toes down. Before we do anything else, check your hip orientation just by feel. Right hip, left hip are level, equal with each other. Now just go ahead and reach your left arm out long. Left bicep on the left ear. Hand is so long. You know, we could call it a broken table, a bird dog, a spine balance. Uh, will Steve shut up and give me something different? Bend your left elbow. Place your palm on the back of your skull. Now, keep your right leg lifted. On an inhale, bend your right elbow. Bring your forehead to the mat. Lift your right leg high. Exhale, push up one arm. Ten of those, go. Inhale, bend the elbow. Lift the leg. Exhale, push. Inhale, long. You get your 10 before me, just hold that bird dog. Woo! Uh oh, I lost count. There are three more. Go ahead and lower your right knee, left hand to the mat. Wiggle your hips a little. Flip your right wrist back to your right hand to the mat. Get a little stretch. Let the hips bounce. You know, we still in yogi dance mode. Ooh. All right, y'all. That ain't a copy break. Let's boogie. Push it to your left hand and take your left leg back. Oh, reach your right arm long. Bend your right elbow and put that palm on the back of your skull. Check your left hip, same height as right hip. Inhale, bend your left elbow, raise your left leg, put your forehead down. Exhale, press. Just like that, nine more times. Woo! Mind over matter, body is so much stronger than it wants to tell you it is. Once you get it, once you get it, just set your knee and hands down. And let the hips dance while you stretch your left wrist. Oh. It ain't over yet. Come to table position. Mm. Bring your knees together. Open your feet a little wider than your hips. Place toenail side of the foot on the mat. Walk your hands back and just drop your butt between your ankles. Now you can keep your weight on your hands. This here Varasana can be kind of crazy. So if you want to lean on your hands, that's good. You might be feeling plenty. You want to walk your hands back to your thighs, shoulders over hips. That's cool. That's a great place to hang out. Maybe you feel a little precocious. You want some more. Hands go back. Somewhere back towards the back of the room. That's not enough. You still got a little more, more room for stretch. Just bend your elbows and come on down, forearms to the mat. 
And for for a few folks with long, long quadriceps, perhaps go all the way to your back. But please, only do so if appropriate. It doesn't mean, look, man, it's kind of like some people have longer noses and they ain't got a damn thing to do with health. Some people have longer quadriceps. They need to go a little deeper to get a stretch. It got nothing to do with health or strength or anything. It's genetics. Find the right sensation and dwell in it for a few moments. Be kind to yourself. We're going to exercise one of the most difficult muscles there is. It's called humility. All but my ego wants to go all the way into this asana. I want to be on the cover of Yoga Journal. No, humility. Be the benevolence. Just go to where it feels sweet. Mm. Now, maybe it was appropriate to go to your back. So come on up. If you're on elbows, come on up. Shoulders over hips, just for a moment. And feel, feel your seat against the, the mat. And then walk your hands forward. Coming to table, cross your shins deep. And then just sit on back. Bring your bent knees in front of you, feet flat. Just give yourself one hug one time. Mm. You can do a little dance here. It is so appropriate and it feels good. All right, now let's, let's do some stuff. Place your palms on the mat, kind of behind your butt a little ways, fingers pointing towards the front of the room. Lift your heart. First thing you're going to want to do is round the back. So let's, let's address that right now. Lift your heart. Find that balance point right behind your sit bones, see? And just straighten your legs. Maybe a little bend in the knees is appropriate or maybe straight. Either way is cool. Once you're there, reach your hands out front, palms facing each other, hands about the same height as your chest or your shoulders. They call this Navasana, Bolt. I don't know. I go, oh my God, Asana. Right from here, stay, keep your butt right where it's at. Bend your knees, bottoms of your feet coming together. Going right into a butterfly, but with their feet up off the ground. Let your knees fall open. Open the legs, wide leg, both. Now lift your heart here. You got a, you got a bind on your toes or your ankles, so it's a little easier to hold. Find that spot. Engage your strong core. This is Manapura Chakra. This is your courage, your strength. Mm. Now, without letting those feet fall, just release. Bring your palms together right in front of your center line. Lumps up, pinkies down. Legs up high. Breathe. Feet can move. Put your hands back. Take your toes. Come to that floating butterfly. Mm. Inhale, open those legs out wide, both release, let your legs cover. Mm. Reach on out, take a grip, bring your legs together, maintain the bind, point your toes and lift. Kind of like a seated Uttanasana, right? Woo! Try to keep your feet right where they're at. Oh, you fall over, go wee. Put your hands back on the mat behind your butt. Fingers pointed forward. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lower your straight legs, toes pointing. Push into your palms. Inhale, lift your pelvis. Try to touch your toes and lift your hips. Drop your head back and breathe. Woo! Take a breath. Exhale. Stay here with me. Deep breath in. 
Exhale, lower your butt. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, fall forward, chest to thigh. Yeah. I know, Sam, it's hot in here, baby. You're all right. Now we're holding on to our feet here. Inhale, look forward, look beyond your toes like you're going to put your heart against your feet. Exhale, get a little length. Inhale, push the backs of your knees to the mat. Exhale, round your back, let go of your feet and just melt over your legs like butter on a potato. Ooh. Ooh. Come on up, one vertebrae at a time, nice and easy, y'all. Ain't no hurries, ain't no worries. Moving non-abrasively. Mm. Man, that's nuts. We're going to orient to the side of the mat, left side of the mat, maybe right side of the mat. Your choice is your mat. We're going to open our legs up wide. Heels down, toes up. But when I say wide, that means your situation for wide. Tune in to that strip of meat from the inner knee that goes from your inside of your knee up to your groin. Look at that in your mind's eye. And when that strip of meat says, hey, that's enough, that means you're wide. That's good. Let's not push beyond. Again, humility, santosha. Santosha is not just satisfaction, you know, not just contentment. It also means acceptance. Take a breath. Lift your heart. Exhale. Walk your hands forward. Bring your torso towards the mat. Maybe we come down to elbows. Maybe not. Take a breath in and look forward. Heart forward. Spine long. And then exhale. Maybe we drop a little deeper. Maybe some of you wish to reach out and grab something. Something of yours. Not your neighbor's like ankles or toes, take a breath, look forward, lengthen, breastbone away from pubic bone, and then exhale and just melt on into this craziness. Right now, body, part of the body has a little storm going, a lot of high sensation. Another part of the body is going, oh, thank God we're not doing the chaturanga no more. Mind does things here, just kind of. This is a great opportunity to just observe, just look at that. Monkeys in the kitchen going crazy, breaking pots and plates, throwing eggs and flour. We just stare at that stuff, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, just stare with no bias, no judgmental adjectives, just look at it. Just let it be what it is. And breathe. Stay low and walk our hands over towards our right leg. We'll bring our right arm outside of our right leg. See if we can kind of roll into this. Like we're going to bring our left nipple to our inner right thigh without letting our left glute turn the corner with us. Oh, 
my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stay low with it, walking all the way long around the front. Mm -hmm. Taking the long way home, make our way towards our left leg. And this time it's like our right nipple. We're going to go towards our inner left knee, inner left thigh. Like we're rolling into it, but not bringing our right glute for the right. It just stays back there where it was. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that? What is going on right there? Oh, just look at it. Just, just breathe into it. Mm. One more time back to the center, just for a few moments, just for a little bit. A little sweetness here. Now locking our hands back. We're just gonna come up with no, with no hurries. We I mean, really, it's it's nice. Just coming out slow. Mm. Feel that wave, that, that sensation, the shift, the change. Now I'm going to recommend and suggest you use your your right arm to kind of bring your right leg in a little bit. And then your left arm to bring your left leg in a little bit. Your adductors, they're all stretched out. No sense in engaging them or working them. Just, oh. Just take your time bringing your legs together. Mm. Maybe just scooch your heels away from your sit bones, that front edge of your sit bone pressing into the planet. Now just relax everything in your legs. Um, you might feel some kind of wash, wave, rod, I don't know, something that strip from inner knee to the groin. Feel something there. What is that? You know, some say that's um, awareness of your prana, your chi. When you feel those, those shifts, I tend to believe that myself. Now, without too many extra movements, make your way to your back. And just take a few moments for any. Any natural movements that come to mind, I don't know. That can be, you know, supine twists. Maybe you want to do some, some reclined pigeon, figure four stretches. Maybe you just want to lay on your back and rock your hips and heels side to side. I don't know. Just take a few moments with, with your movement, what your body is asking for. Indulge in that sweet. I will say it again. I wish you could see yourselves through my eyes. Six different bodies, six different expressions. It's, just, it's beautiful. Once you've got 
all those movements that your body's asking for, you know, you reconcile them, you got them handled. Just extend, uh, extend each leg out long. Bring your arms long at your sides, palms up. Let the back side of your body melt into the planet. This too. Take the tip of your thumb and just stroke it across your other four fingertips. If you like, this is the sweet little nice sensation. While you do that, take the tip of your tongue and just tickle that little spot right behind your upper front teeth. Hmm. Yeah, it's just kind of nice. Yeah. You might want to wiggle some toes and roll some wrists and ankles, maybe, maybe not. I want to reach biceps to ears and hands away from feet, feet away from hands and make them. Yeah, maybe not. Just kind of finding your way out of that stillness. Take your time. You ain't got to come all the way out. Just enough to find your way to the seated position of your choice. Just take your time getting there. I'll be here. Once you're, once you're seated and grounded, if you wish, put your palms together right there at your heart. 
will connect. Bring the roots, ground the roots, lift the crown, grounding the muladhar, lifting sahasra, thumbs at anaha, a few breaths here. I'm going to close this with an O. And you know, you're welcome to join me. Or not, either way, it's cool. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale to OM. Gratitude. Yeah, I'm going to unmute you. I can find you. Well, you have to unmute yourself. But you're welcome to unmute yourself if you like. Yeah, sure. Uh, I appreciate y'all. This is um, this is a particularly challenging day for for me. Uh, there's been a lot of tears, and this I don't know. This like hour and a half or so was very nice. I thank you, each of you, so much for that. Thank you. It was very wonderful as always. Hey, thank you, thank you. So. Uh, Next Sunday, I'm going to be doing some things as I prepare to move my camper to another location. I got between now and September to make some repairs and stuff. So next Sunday, I'm going to be busy with that. But the following Sunday, I'll be back. This is going to be through uh, June, July, going to be a little hit and miss. But I'll get it steadied out once I get that, that stuff handled. And of course, you know, I'll post it on the Facebook forum and all that. Uh, if you guys got any questions, you can reach out, message me on Facebook. Uh, if you want my contact info, if you don't have it, holler, I'll, I'll give it to you. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate each of you. Very, very great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about you, but my clothes are so... You kicked butt today. <laughs> yeah, you the last week, right? Yeah, it was great. It was really, really great. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy it. Glad you were here. Have a great flow. Hi, I'm glad you dug it, Barbara. But I got I lost you... somewhere. Huh? I got lost between the pyramid and something else. Side plate? And, and plank, yeah. So, we're in pyramid, right? Yes. I'm gonna do it kind of, I ain't got out of room. So we're in pyramid, <clears throat> right leg is forward, left foot is kind of on a 45. Yes. Hips are even. So the forward foot, I'm gonna bind to the toe. I'm going to push into my opposite hand, my left hand, as I roll to the outside of my left foot. Uh -huh. I'm just going to look up. That she's fastened with the toe bind. Makes I sense? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's a really tricky one to, to cue. But I, I can't lift my, my leg. So oh, I well, you don't have to. That's okay. So. Pyramid, push into the left hand, right foot forward, push into the left hand, step the right foot back, roll this side, okay. lift off. Yeah, that's what I was doing, something. something yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a perfect modification. You can even go, you can drop the knee mm -hmm. and do a modified side plank. Okay. 
all kinds of ways to go, all levels, you know, all strength conditions. There's we can do crazy Jedi stuff with modifications to make it easier or harder, either way. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Well. All right, I'm gonna go uh, take a shower and eat. But thank you so much for coming. I'm really glad you were here. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. I'm on. Have a great Sunday. Thank you. You as well. Thanks.